the mutant snapping turtle that broke the internet. Now it starts with a man holding what looks like a turtle, except this thing doesn't just snap, it attacks. In a viral TikTok posted by at Gabe Week, a massive snapping turtle opens its jaws so wide, you can actually see the pink flesh kind of glinting under fluorescent light. The man holding it barely manages to keep it steady as the turtle kind of lunges forward. Very powerful, very prehistoric vibes, and just terrifyingly wrong. It doesn't look like your average pond creature. The shell is jagged and uneven. I mean, the neck, it's like very thick. The head, it's bulging with muscle. It's like a living fossil that never got the memo about extinction. I mean, commenters called it a real life dinosaur. Others swore it looked mutated, maybe from pollution, maybe from radiation, maybe from something we just don't understand. So what are we actually looking at? Well, experts think it's, you know, a common snapping turtle. This one doesn't look right. The asymmetry of its head and the sheer size suggest possible hormonal or genetic disruption, likely, you know, from chemical runoff or pollutants. In other words, the more we poison their world, the more monstrous they become. The two-headed alligator of Florida. Are you surprised? You're walking along the edge of a Florida swamp when you see it. Two reptilian heads breaking the water's surface attached to one enormous body. Now, wildlife officers in the Everglades confirmed one of the strangest discoveries in Florida's history, which isn't saying much because Florida's filled with weirdly, you know, weird, strange discoveries. But this was allegedly a two-headed alligator, alive, moving, very much real. Each head blinked, hissed, and opened its jaws independently, two minds sharing one body. Photos went viral, as you can see, and experts kind of rushed to explain how such a thing could even exist. This rare condition is called polycephaly, when an embryo starts to split into twins, but doesn't quite finish. It happens in snakes and turtles occasionally, but an alligator with two heads? I mean, that's kind of almost unheard of. Now, possible cause? Well, environmental, you know, mutation isn't ruled out. Florida's wetland are heavily affected by runoff chemicals and invasive species stress. Scientists say that kind of ecosystem chaos can amplify birth defects in reptiles especially. The giant isopod that looks straight out of a horror movie. Now, imagine something crawling across the ocean floor that looks like a cockroach the size of a house cat. I have chills right now. That's not science fiction. Honestly, that is the giant isopod. Now, in 2005, researchers found one so large, it broke known size records nearly three feet long. These creatures are distant relatives of the pill bugs you find under rocks. You know, so think like the Lion King when they eat that slug, but like 10 times bigger. But this one was a genetic anomaly. Most giant, you know, isopods max out around 16 inches. This one, over 30. Scientists called it an example of extreme deep sea giganticism, but others weren't so sure. Some argued it might be a mutated subspecies. Chemical plumes from undersea mining and industrial runoff can actually change deep sea chemistry, leading to accelerated growth in scale scavenger species. Others suggested something even more disturbing. Radiation exposure from mid-century nuclear, you know, tests in the Pacific could still be influencing deep sea DNA. Now, when the footage hit marine biology circles, people were stunned. The isopod's claws were the size of human fingers, take that in, and its segmented body looked biochemical. Like, like basically, it was like evolution just glitched out. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? The albino gorilla of the Barcelona Zoo named Snowflake. Deep in the jungles of the zoo in Spain, rangers tracking an endangered troop of gorillas stumbled upon something that shouldn't exist, a pure white gorilla. Its fur was ghostly pale, its eyes like pinkish amber, and in the dense green, you know, of this national park, it looked like an apparition. Now the footage shows the gorilla sitting calmly, completely at ease, you know, surrounded by its dark furred family. But albinism in gorillas is almost like never seen, so the lack of pigment may makes them vulnerable to sunlight, predators, and rejection from their own group. Yet this one actually thrived, it accepted, dominated, and eerily was beautiful. Scientists later confirmed through hair samples that this was a case of genetic albinism caused by a rare mutation on the TYR gene, which is the same one responsible for the pigment production in humans. Now what baffled researchers 
features was its health. Most albino animals suffer from vision problems to fragile skin, you know. This gorilla appeared very strong, very alert, and very well adapted. Now, fun fact also, Snowflake also learned sign language, which is pretty impressive. The two-headed shark that terrified fishermen. Now, in 2019, around that time, a small fishing boat off the coast of Tamil Nadu, India, pulled up a net and inside it, something so strange, the crew thought it was literally a freaking prank. I mean, a shark with two full heads, honestly. Each head blinked, you know, it moved and opened its mouth separately, but the two were fused to one single sleek, body. The men dropped it onto the deck and backed away, of course, unsure if they were seeing a birth defect or a mutant species. So you decide. Marine scientists confirmed it was a black tip shark, which is also known as, and I'm going to botch this, a Carcinius limbatus. Maybe I didn't. Born with a condition called decephaly, which is an embryo that started to split into twins, but didn't finish. I think I talked about this earlier. Now that's not unheard of in smaller animals, but in sharks? Yes, that's almost never recorded alive. So very shocking. As for why it happened though, scientists are pointing fingers at pollution and climate stress. You know, the typical, typical. India's coastal waters are heavily contaminated with heavy metals and microplastics and both can disrupt, you know, shark embryonic development. The glowing vampire squid. Now picture the deepest part of the ocean ever, the place where light literally just dims out. Now imagine something glowing blue and red in the darkness, kind of unfurling like a living lantern. A Japanese deep sea expedition recorded a vampire squid, also known as, and excuse my poor language of this, Vampirethus inferinalis. Maybe I said that right. Unlike any scene before. Now, it wasn't just bioluminescent. It pulsed with alternating colors, flashing rings of light through its tentacles like a warning beacon. Now, normal vampire squid already glow faintly. This one was a full-on light show. Scientists replayed the footage and noticed the glow wasn't chemical. It came from tiny symbolic microbes that had colonize the squid's tissue, turning it into literally a living neon billboard. Some researchers called it just like, you know, a freak mutation. Others suspected contamination from deep sea mining sites that leaked trace metals into the ecosystem. Yeah, there you have it. I mean, these mutant creatures that science can't fully explain, a snapping turtle that looks like a dinosaur, a two-headed alligator straight out of mythology, deep sea bug built like a tank, and a ghost white gorilla defying genetics. I mean, these are real, they've been recorded, and they prove one thing nature isn't finished creating monsters if you made it this far in this video let me know in the comments so i know you're one of the curious ones who likes to hear you know science with a side of nightmare fuel right also friends brace yourself because the next mutation might already be swimming towards us thanks so much for watching i'm your host ash i'll see you next time